Jimin and Wen were successful to clear all the misunderstanding between them. Jimin, tomorrow gonna be very busy, so close your eyes. Wen, huh? Ah, ne. Can you please shut the door before you leave? Jimin, ani, I'm not gonna leave. Wen, don't worry, I'm habituated now. Jimin, what if I want to stay here tonight? Will you not let me to stay here? When? Huh? Are you serious? Jimin. Actually, Jin Hyung played his young card and told me to stay in your room tonight. So, mm. while laid down on a side of the king size bed she was provided by the hotel, you must go and sleep in your bed. An idol can't have the ownership of dark circles though. She calmly spoke, though she wanted his stay in her room badly. She covered herself with the blanket and closed her eyes, still hoping for not hearing the sound of the door opening. But after a few minutes, she heard the sound of the door knock. Grabbing the blanket, she tried to be quiet, but the room was filled with the sound of her sobbings. After a few moments, the lights were switched on. She sensed that and opened her eyes. Sitting on the bed, she could see whom did she actually want to see. Jimin was in the room. He had opened the door and just pretended that he left. Wen was happy to be pranked by him this time but couldn't stop her tears. You didn't go? She asked in shaky voice. Jimin, Ani, I just wanted to hear you snoring, but what have I heard? I don't think I'm gonna be able to leave this room tonight. When broke into tears, I wanted you to stay here tonight badly, but I don't know. Why or how could I accompany you tonight? Jimin stopped her with a soft kiss on her trembling lips. Jimin, we were young then, both you and me. Now we are matured enough. You are still stubborn and my universe has always fallen in love with this stubborn heart. When I looked at him, being a total dumbfounded, Jimin, no more words gonna be spoken. Nobody is allowed to keep the eyes open or blink. When it's not your beauty storm, Jimin. You are the local medical officer of BTS to LA now. And it's a converted BTS dumb with We are BTS. So we are not allowed to break the rails. Close your eyes. Jimin gently pulled her closer and made her body partially rested on his body. She was in his embrace after long seven years, the girl who always wanted to have his sweaty t-shirts just like a silly, was in his embrace. She didn't struggle to mold herself in his shape. Her sobbing made the situation a little shivery, but his warm, gentle grief was enough to console her broken heart. She closed her eyes while resting her head on his shoulder. A peaceful smile of satisfaction was plastered on her face. She was fallen asleep just like that. She needed to no comforting pillow as long as she could feel his warmth. Lying beside her, having her in his embrace, Jimin could feel how terribly lonely she was in these years. He wasn't doubting her, but he wanted to confirm those facts. I'm sorry for unlocking your phone while you were sleeping. He whispered into her ears when moment. It feels like I'm intoxicated. It's so relaxing and comfortable. It feels like home. That home where I've never been lived. I want to sleep tonight. She wasn't replying him, but she was talking in her sleep. And even in her dream, she was in Jimin's embrace. Drop of tears escaped from Jimin's eyes as he unlocked her phone while listening 
to her words spoken in her sleep. Her phone was unlocked. In her contact list, there was only one number saved. It was his number, saved with a heart emoticon. His finger moved to the Spotify app, the recent one app she had switched. There was only one song played in loop that is filtered. He sighed and moved to her message inbox. In a number of love proposals and those are blocked. She had never replied them. Mija Soya? He sighed in confusion. At this moment, he felt relieved that he was her only love interest. Yet she had never tried to contact him. He looked at her face. She was sleeping peacefully, but the marks of stress on her face was prominent. His fingers moved to the icon of photos. Newborn babies resting on their respective mother's chest, having skin-to-skin -skin contact. She had captured the stages of motherhood after pregnancy. At this point, Jimin couldn't gather his courage to go through her phone for any longer. Her phone was like silently screamed out in her ears. How painful and lonely life she was living the tears. He just remembered how rude his behavior was when he first recognized her. But he didn't dare to cry. If his sobbings make her awake, he closed his eyes. He was regretting. He could feel gentle pats on his chest where her right palm was placed. Don't worry. It's just because it's night, soon it will be over, and bright sun will welcome the day. Just close your eyes and be the night tonight. The words were spoken in her sleep to console whom? Jimmy was consoled a little, but he was getting more and more confused. He closed his eyes. The next morning, it was already 7 o'clock, when opened her eyes. She found her head on his masculine chest. She blinked multiple times. It seemed. She couldn't believe the fact that she was in his embrace till the morning. She tried to free herself from his embrace. Her little movements made his grip stronger. Don't move when... He muttered while his eyes were still closed. When, get up, you have sound sick this morning, if I'm not wrong. Get up, buddy. Jimin opened his eyes and checked the time on her phone. Last night, I checked your phone. When, that's more useless than a dustbin. Jimin got up. Ani, let's get ready. Be ready tonight. I have planned something for us. It was evening, the center of the purple ocean with them. The cheering was thunderous, overwhelming. When first time experienced the live concert, looking at the LED screen, everyone was best at their respective positions, completing each other, complimenting each other. They ended up the concert by bowing together. Everything went well and it was time to return at the hotel. When it felt a little awkward to get into the crew bus, she decided to take a cab. She casually messaged to inform in the BTS crew group that she is gonna take the cab. Members hopped into the bus one by one and eventually got busy in their respective worlds of social media. A notification on their phone flashed. When is going to take cab? Jimin asked the leader, Namjoon Young, are our crew members eligible to travel as individual? RM, as much as I know, two crew members can. Hey, JM, do you want to join her? 
engine. Of course you will. Namjuna, inform the company and ask to send a car. I'm notifying when. Aram was in a conversation with the company. Meanwhile, Jin dialed Van's number. Van, hello? Jin, yabuseo? Van? Van, ne? Jin, oppa? Jin, ne? Hey, Van? Our company's rule is no employee can travel alone. So, our company has arranged a car for you. Don't get into any random cab and send me your location. Van, ne oppa? Van sent her location and waited for the cab provided by the company. Jin, Jimin Shi, please go and sit in the cab. Accompany her to the hotel. Jimin, ne yang, kham sami de yang. Jin, try to be understanding with the little kid. Jimin went into the car. Soon the car arrived at the location shared by Van. He instructed the driver to stop just right beside where she was standing and waiting for the cab. Come on, Van, he called her. Van looked into the car. Jimin was sitting on the passenger seat. Her heart skipped a bit seeing his charming smile. She quickly hopped into the car. When, why your company don't allow the employee to ride alone? Isn't it weird? Jimin, it's because of the word known as togetherness. Nobody in the company should feel alone. It's the basic duty of every employee to take care of their colleagues. When, so I and you are colleague. Jimin's arm snuggled under her waist and she was pulled towards him. What do you think? Are we just colleagues? When frowned. So, what are we? We can't be buddy though. Jimmy looked at her face. I didn't mean that when. When. But everyone. Jimmy. I don't belong to the everyone group when. And don't forget what I had told you in the morning. When actually had forgotten what he had told her. She looked at him. If I say I have forgotten. Jimin, stop fooling me when. As a doctor you have never forget about your appointments. So? When? So? Jimin, that's enough. I will not give you any more hints. When? How could it be a hint? Jimin, how long we need to be seated on the car? When? A few more minutes. We have almost reached. Jimin. I'll see you um, in your room half an hour. It will be enough, I think. When? Yeah. Enough, but for what? The car was stopped in front of the hotel. Jimin and Van stepped out of the car one by one and casually walked into the hotel. They headed to their respective rooms. After almost 45 minutes, a soft knock on the door of Van's room. Van, come in please. The door is opened. Jimin entered into the room. He looked at her. She was eating strawberries. She was wearing a soft, oversized sweater. Jimin, are you full? Van offered him. Do you want some? Jimin, really? Van was still confused and dumbfounded. She didn't pay much attention to his words and put a strawberry in her mouth. Oh, I'm craving something sweet. He came closer to her and bite the strawberry from her mouth. This sudden action made her little aware. What was that? She asked Jimin. Jimin, you offered me strawberries and I just had one. It was the sweetest one. When done, Jimin, you have forgotten our morning conversation. 
how could you be so rude well i'm sorry but i really can't remember jimin what will you give me if i help you to remember well anything i'm eligible to give for you jimin i have told you to be prepared well yeah but for what you didn't clear that in that case i'm already prepared jimin i demanded you what you have forgotten now give me my reward well what reward can i give you jimin let me help you to get dressed well but for what jimin for a candlelight dinner when you must be joking i'm full and as per my knowledge you have also consumed your portion of food jimin let's have a candlelight dinner in your room we'll just have some wine when fine but not wine water plain water room temperature and i don't need to get dressed for attending a candlelight dinner in my room then jimin you want to avoid because i want to help you to get dressed uh uh ani when actually i don't have any dress neither in my apartment nor in this hotel room jimin i knew that you would show me some stupid excuse like that when but why i need to get dressed jimin can't you consider this as my wish when but the one you think is a deciduous tree is actually a dead tree the reality is we have no future jimin gave her a death glare which kind of startled her he pulled her towards him even if you had left me my world that i don't have i can imagine it only with you you are not a dead tree or a deciduous tree to me you are an evergreen tree to me i get the purest oxygen from you jimin when look at me when was busy to hide her face on his chest her face was all red jimin i know you still love me when but, but we are just going to have some water only jimin believe me it will act like wine but if you want we can skip and enjoy the after party when wasn't able to take her eyes off from his juicy lips he struggled a little for a few moments and she rolled her eyes jimin tightened his grip on her waistline and made her to be seated on his lap keep looking at me i want to be washed by you when ask anything else but not this jimin i have ordered an custom made dress for you with my assumption i just want to check the fitting when ha huh, dress for me bro give me some time i need mental preparation to wear a dress at this age jimin okay then what would you be doing now if i wasn't in your room when probably i would apply some body lotion after taking an ice thermal shower jimin let's follow your routine then when stop jimin ani wrapping his arms around her waist jimin back hugged her his tables were piercing her bare neckline each stroke was making red marks on her neckline with a sensation of fallen that was triggering when to consider the fact that she was his one and only longing desire she couldn't stop one his name one could feel a strong sense of desire inside her as she was touched by him the clothes were getting loosened and was stopped on the floor one by one her eyes were closed as 
Her feelings were getting more and more wild. She was not wearing any less undergarments, just random boring black, but her fair complexion, the red marks on her body produced by him were complementing each other generously. She was carried by his arms in bridal style to the washroom. Jimin, do you think that I'm stinking after performing in the stadium for continuous two hours? When, Ani, you have never stink. Jimin, you know, I didn't take shower because I wanted to smell like you. When was seated on the rim of the bathtub, looking at him, he removed his t-shirt and jeans and one by one and tossed on the floor. Soon he joined her in the bathtub and she could feel his masculine body. His fingers were busy exploring each and every scourge of her body. Jimin helped me to apply the shampoo when and didn't reply in words but applied shampoo on his bird hair and massaged his scalp gently. Jimin, how did you arrange to export this from Korea? Even in Korea, it's hard to find. When do you still use this? Jimin, nay, but didn't know this babu also used this. When wanted to giggle with him but all she could feel tears were continuously flowing down from her eyes. Jimin could feel the trembling sensation as she tried to suppress her sobbings. He took her out from the tub and made her to stand under the shower and turned the shower on. She was pulled closer to him and all she could find his lips caressing her body under the running water. Follow your soul, it knows the way, he whispered, and all she could feel a ring gliding through her left ring finger, be mine forever. Do you have any idea about the consequences? She asked him. Suddenly, the shower stopped and all she could feel a pair of lips caressing her lips while his hands were busy to kissing her womanhood. Jimin, this ring is to ensure you that you have the authority to own me when own you? Jimin, and you are not allowed to say this kind of words when, but the reality is different. Jimin, you know what was the reality for me? I have always wanted to be like you, daring, fearless. When? Yeah, I was fearless. I lived in the dreams. Jimin, let me live in my dreams then. When nobody's talking to you. Jimin grabbed the body lotion container from the table and poured a little amount on his palm. Wen's eyes rolled as she guessed what did he want to mean when he told her to let him to live his dreams. You know my tolerance level, don't tease me. Jimin, it's lotion time after all, Van. He gently removed the towel from her body and started applying the lotion. Van closed her eyes. She didn't want to think about her death senses and decided to give herself a second chance to live the life again. The room was filled with the pleasant scent of their togetherness.